We are in shop mode, and it's day three of the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, where I wish I was. Creators, some, creators of some of the hottest and newest tech are designing products this year specifically for women. And Molly McHugh, tech editor from The Daily Dot, has been scouting out the latest of those trends. Molly, tech 3D printing seems to be a hot trend now, especially when it comes to fashion. There's a 3D printed clothing line? There is a lot of 3D printed clothing here, actually. Um, there are a few dresses, uh, and women are out here wearing them. It's not like they're just on a stand. So we're seeing a lot of people walk around in these clothes. And there's a lot of other things, too. Lots of jewelry, lots of accessories. So there's a ton of stuff. Now, help me understand, Molly, because in my mind, I'm thinking you need to weave fabrics. You need to, it's a complex thing. What is it made of? Is it, is it nice to wear? Is it cool to the touch? I, I can't even fathom what 3D printed clothing would be like. It is really comfortable from what I've heard from everyone who's wearing it. Um, I actually tried on a jacket and it felt kind of like a jacket. It definitely feels different than a cloth, but these pieces of plastic are so flexible that it actually creates something that you wouldn't feel that strange wearing. Huh, interesting. And are there any big name actual designers who have partnered up with these tech firms that are responsible for the technology? I'm not sure if we're going to see anyone like The Gap coming out with a 3D printed blazer or anything in the near future. Right. But I've heard that more and more companies are looking towards, you know, high tech designs. So I wouldn't be too surprised to start seeing this kind of stuff show up with the big name fashion labels. Yeah, it would certainly help to bolster sales. Now, 3D tech can come in handy for moms as well. There's a 3D doodler, I understand, might keep the kids occupied. Yeah, it's this a really amazing pen. I actually have one right here. Uh, it started as a Kickstarter project, and now it's uh, it's ninety nine dollars, and they reach their funding really, really fast. So they're here showing us stuff at CES. And what you do is you just press down, and then whatever you're drawing starts to come out of the pen. Um, oh gosh, so you can see amazing. it's this like physical shape that I'm making, and and people have used it to make all sorts of things. Um, the necklace I'm wearing was actually made with this pen and this wallet right here was the same thing. So um, yeah, it's pretty amazing what they can create with it. Things besides, you know, clothes, of course. So uh, I mean, toys. Yeah, it's a great toy as well. <laughs> now, Fess Up, how many times did you mess up with the doodler before you got it right? I actually got it right on the first try. I won't lie did to you. you. Really? The first night I tried it, it went really easily. Yeah, I did. I won't. I'm not lying. Of course you did. Make me an ascot, a plastic <laughs> ascot. Uh, all right, let's talk selfie tech everybody wants to take the perfect selfie and there apparently are some new products to help you do that yeah there's actually a lot of big you know new selfie technology that's here um, it's a little bit strange but lenovo actually has their own selfie flash so now you can actually you know get a better brighter look and there's a new camera from htc that's very modular and small and you can point it at yourself um, and then of course we have the selfie stick here which they have a bluetooth connected version so you can remotely take that selfie with the stick all right now they've blown it out of the water with selfie drones as well i understand Yes, there are selfie drones. Um, there's one model, the Hexo Plus, which really seems like it's more for things like mountain biking and you know paragliding, something really crazy that you want to capture. Um, and it's a bigger unit, but it's still really amazing. And um, there's also a palm-sized version for you know I don't know a group of friends, you know something that you would actually just in a casual environment use, but you could definitely use it in more serious situations too. At what point is the FAA going to have to step in and be like, all right, the skies are filled with drones, this is problematic. I can tell you right now, if I'm at a restaurant and somebody takes this palm-sized drone and floats it out into the air over my table to take a selfie of their family, I'm going to swat that thing out of the air. You with me? Sure. Um, there's actually a law in Korea right now that they're looking at trying to ban selfie sticks because people have been hurting themselves or other people with them. <laughs> so, you know, there's legislation happening around this. I've heard that there's actually going to be some research done on whether selfie or sorry, on whether drones have their own airport. So there's a lot of, you know, discussion about how we're going to deal with all of these. Well, technologies. We're, eager, we're eager to see how it plays out. And of course, you'll keep a finger on the pulse for us. Thanks, Molly. Absolutely. Thanks a lot.